Don't let doubts to slow you down. You have got everything you need right now to become unstoppable. You don't have to be most talented. You don't have to have all the answers. What you need is the courage to start. Because starting is where the magic begins. When you decide to start, the power in you says, I deserve it, I am capable and I am ready. So stop waiting for anything and start learning from this video today. So the topic today is functions. And this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. Now in this video, I am going to discuss the definition of functions, domain and range of the function and types of functions. So here, what is the definition of a function? See here, let X and Y be any two sets. See here, X is one set and Y is another set. A relation from X to Y is called a function if every element in X there is a unique relation with every element in set y such that the ordered pair x comma y belongs to f see for example if you take the set x so x contains a comma b comma c and the set y contains 1 comma 2 comma 3 so these are the two sets and see here f is called a function the relation from x to y is called a function if every element in x has a unique mapping with the every element in y. See here, 1 is mapped with, A is mapped with 1, B is mapped with 3 and C is mapped with 2. So, every element in X is mapped with every element in y. See here, then the ordered pair belongs to F. That is, A comma 1, B comma 3, C comma 2 belongs to F and F is called a function. Clear? And now, what is the domain and the range of a function? See here, F maps from A to B. F is a function from the set A to B. Then the set A is called the domain of F and B is called the codomain or the range of the F. See for example, A is the set given as 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is the set given as 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25. So we have to consider the relation F of X is equal to X square. So here in the set X, I have considered 1, 2, 3, 4. And for the set B, x square. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16. So each element in the set X uh, is mapped with each element in the set Y and F is a function. These are all the ordered pairs which belongs to F. And F is a function here according to our definition. Now what is the domain and the, what is the range? See here I will show you the first element in the ordered set that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this ordered pair all the first elements are the domains of the function F. And what is the range or the codomain? So codomain means all the second elements. See here, that is 1, 4, 9, 16. The second element in ordered pair is called the range of the function. Clear? So you got an idea about the definition of the function and the range and the domain of the function. The first element is called the domain and the second element is called the range. And now discussing about the types of the functions. So here there are six types of the functions. The first one is 1-1 one, one function. 1-1 one, one function or injection, onto function or subjection. If 1-1 one, one and onto function holds, then we call it's a bijective function. And next one, many to one function, identity function and constant function. See here, one by one, I'll explain with an example. Clearly, it's very easy. 1-1 one, one function or injection function. See here, in 1-1 one, one function, a mapping f maps from x to y is called a 1-1 one, one function if distinct elements of x, see here different different elements of x are mapped into the distinct elements of y, different different elements of y. See here it's so easy here for 1-1 one, one function, different different elements of set x should be mapped with the different different elements of set y. See here 1 it's a different one, 1 is mapped with the different element b and next one 2 is mapped with C and 3 is mapped with A. Therefore, F is a 1-1 one, one function. See here, distinct elements from set A should be related to distinct elements from set B. For example, if you take this one, if you take this one, in set A there is 1, 2, 3. In set Y there is A, B, C. See here, different element 1 is related to A. Clear. 2 is related to C. That is also okay. And next one, 3 is again related to A. That is also okay. So here, different elements of X are should be related to different elements of Y. See here, 
the different element B is left over here. So here the B element is left over and therefore we see that this is not an 1-1 one, one function. So this example doesn't hold a 1-1 one, one function. See here different different elements should be mapped with the different different elements in the set Y. Then we see that F is 1-1 one, one function clear. And next one onto function. So this is also so simple. Onto function means a mapping F maps from X to Y. A mapping a function f maps from x to y is called an onto function if every element in set y so we have to start with set y here will be an will be an image of some element of set x so from we have to start from here and we have to check whether these are mapped with some elements in set y so no element should be left in this set y because this is an onto function or subjection. We have to start with set y and we have to check whether each and every element is mapped here with the set, uh, set of elements in set x. See here, set y will be an image of some element in set x. So we have to go with the set y and we have to check a is mapped with 1. So a is having an image in set one, x and a is having a set uh, image in set x. And B is having an image. So every element is occupied here with an image function in set X. And therefore F is an onto function. Therefore F is an onto function. Consider this example. See here. So we have to check whether this is an onto function or not. So we have to go with set Y. We have to check with set Y. So here 1. So 1 is not having an image here. So 1 is not mapped with the elements in, elements in set X. And therefore, 2 is having an image uh, mapped with A, 2 is mapped with B and again 3 is mapped with B. So what is left over here? So 1 is left over. Then we say that F is not 1, 1. If any on 2. So here, if F is not a on 2 function, therefore we have to see whether every element in set Y is, will be having an image in set X. So if any one of the element is left over, then we say that F is not on 2. See here, here in 1-1 one, one function, we have to check every distinct element of X should be mapped with the different different elements in Y. And therefore, this is 1-1. One, one. And this is on 2. Clear. And next one, what is a bijective function? Bi means 2. So 2. Bi means Two. So we have to hold two properties that is one one property and on two property here. So here a mapping f maps from x to y is called a bijective function if f is both one one and on two. As I said you it should hold the one one property as well as on two property. And let me give you one example here f maps from. So this is set x and this is a set y. So here if you want to check for one one function every element in set x should be mapped with every different element distinct element in set y see check one is related to a two is related to b and three is related to c according to our one one definition every distinct element of from set x should be mapped with every distinct element from set y so this is happened therefore f is a one one function and next one coming to onto function we have to check with set y so every element in set Y sh should have an image in set X. So 1 is having an image 1, A is having an image 1, B is having image 2 and C is having image 3. So here every element is occupied from set Y and having an image with set X and therefore F is an onto function. Therefore we say that if 1, 1 and onto holds this is a bijective function. Next coming to this example here A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. So here we have to check for one one function. So here each and every element from set X is mapped here with the set set Y. So this is okay. One one is okay. And next one coming to set on two function, we have to check the elements from set Y. So here one is having an image as A as well as B, and three is having an image as C. So here what is left over? Two is left over. So if any one of the elements is left over, then we say that it is not onto function. Therefore, it is not a bijective function. So here this doesn't happen. So it should be 1, 1 as well as onto in order to say it is a bijective function. Next one, many to one function. The here, many to one. So here, many to one mapping or many to one function. 
this is also very easy so here the definition is in the title itself if one or two elements in the domain of the function have the same image in the co-domain range of f then it is called a many to one function so here if you see here one two three are the elements in set x and pq are the elements in set y so here many elements one two are having are mapped with see here an image with y see here one is mapped with p and two is also mapped with p many elements in set x are mapped to one element in set b so here many to one so many elements in set x are mapped with uh, the element in set y and therefore we say that many to one function so two three to q q are mapped see here if two or more so here the two elements or more elements in the domain so domain means the first set the first elements in set x have the same image elements in the codomain see here having the same images in this codomain and range then f is called many to one function see here many elements are mapped with a single one element therefore we see that many to one elements and the next one it's very easy this is identity function as you all know let x be the set so here x is a set so x is a set so this is a single set here x be any set and f maps from x to x is defined as f of x is equal to x where small x belongs to capital x then x is called an identity function see here from set x to set x see here f of 1 is equal to 1 f of 2 is equal to 2 and f of 3 is equal to 3 and this is of the form f of x is equal to x for every x belongs to capital x therefore x is an f is an identity function and next one coming to constant function see here the function f maps from x to y is called a constant function constant function is called a constant function if all the elements of set a see here all the element of set a have the same image in set b so they should having an image with the same element that is from the set b see here 1 is mapped with 4 2 is mapped with 4 3 is mapped with 4 and every element in set x should have the same image in set b and therefore we say that f is a constant function so if 1 is equal to 4 2 is equal to 4 and 3 is equal to 4 and it is a constant function see here let me explain you about the types of the functions the, that is 1 1 function so this is a 1 1 function onto function bijective many to one identity function and constant functions so 1 1 function means every dis different different distinct elements from set x should be mapped with every different different distinct elements from set b and next one onto function so from set y we have to consider so every element in set y should have an image in set x and if one one and onto holds this is nothing but the bijective function many to one function is also very easy if two or more elements in the domain of the set uh, domain of the function is having an image in the codomain range set then we say that it is many to one so many elements from set a should be related to one element in the set b and therefore we say that it's many to one so what is an identity identity function means f of x is equal to x for a single set we should have the same image f of x is equal to x for every x belongs to x is an identity function what is a constant function so every element every element in set a should be related with a single element in set b then we say that it's a constant function so that is it uh, for today so i have explained you what is the definition of a function what is domain what is range and what are the types of the functions and these are the basic concepts before entering into the functions chapter and my upcoming videos are also very very important and this is related to dms discrete mathematics and hope you all guys have while this opportunity of learning and preparing through this videos and please if you like this video you know what to do please raise your thumb pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and stay connected thank you so much for staying